Hi friends, it's Cody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well as always. And today I am bringing you a very exciting announcement. I am co-hosting a readathon in May and that readathon is Bingoathon. So before I get into the details of how exactly Bingoathon is gonna go, I need to let you know about my fellow co-host. So this is actually the brainchild of my friend, the lovely Ola from Ola Quinn. She very kindly asked me to join and I was so excited to be on board. And we also have Natasha from My Reading Is Odd, who is just amazing, one of my faves. I'm so very excited to be co-hosting this readathon with them. The readathon will be happening from May 12th to May the 18th and Ola has put together a bingo board for us. And as you can see, we have different challenges for each square. We have anticipated books, five star prediction, favourite genre, pink and or blue on the cover, our group read, which I'll touch on in a second, diverse reps, cover buys, new to me author or very old slash very new on the TBR. So as you can see we have some quite simple challenges there, there's nothing too crazy, this reader thong is just about having fun, it's not supposed to be stressful, you don't have to fill in every square. You can also double up for these challenges or triple up so you can read one book that fits as many of these prompts as you want. So as I mentioned we have our group book in the centre square Square, which is Once and Future. That's by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. I don't have my own copy yet, but it's on its way. And I'm so excited we chose this book as the group read. You do not have to read the group read if you don't want to. However, I'm so excited to read this book. I'm so happy that we picked this particular one. It's a retelling of the King Arthur tales. However, it's also a sci-fi. I believe it's set in space. So it's kind of like a sci-fi retelling, which I don't think I've ever read a sci-fi retelling before. I am excited. I've heard good things about this one. And as you can see from the board, if you read the group book, it will also fit other challenges such as pink and or blue on the cover. It could also work for diverse reps, as I believe there's LGBTQI plus representation in this book. In my case, it'll also work for anticipated book and new to me author and very new on the TBR. So as you can see, it's quite simple. You can read as many or as few books as you'd like in the week. You you can just fill in the one square, a line, you can do the full house if you wish. So this is going to be quite a chill laid back readathon. We're just doing it for fun guys so I really hope some of you will participate with us. So we have a couple of weeks before the readathon begins. Like I said it starts on the 12th up until the 18th of May. I will be posting my regular Wheel of TBR which of course I'll see if I can fit some of those challenges with the prompts on the board. And then closer to the readathon I'll also post a separate TBR of what I'm going to be reading for that week. So I do hope some of you will join in with us. We're also going to be having a live show I believe on the 18th as well which is a Saturday which is the last day of the readathon. As usual I'll also be vlogging for this readathon so you'll see how I do in the week. So this should be fun. Do let me know if you decide to participate along with us. If you post a TBR anywhere on social media or YouTube please do link me to it. So I am hyped for this readathon. I hope you are too. I'm very excited also to see what everyone else is going to be reading. As always I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you care to do so and I will catch you in my next one my dudes. Bye.